This isn't science fiction. It's not even a new idea. But most people still don't know it exists. Or if they do, they misunderstand it. There's a machine that heats your home in winter and cools it in summer. It uses less energy than your hairdryer. It doesn't burn anything. And somehow it gives you more heat than the power it takes in. No, it's not breaking physics. It's bending it to its will. This is the invisible engine behind a net zero future. And once you see how it works, you'll never unsee it. The hidden power of moving heat. Most people think of heating as something that burns. You light a flame, you get warmth. That's how it's always been. Fireplaces, oil furnaces, gas boilers. Even electric heaters, while cleaner, just dump energy into glowing wires. Heat goes in, heat comes out, one to one. But there's something else. Heat doesn't need to be created. It already exists. It's around us, even when it feels cold. And it can be moved. That's the trick. A heat pump doesn't burn anything. It captures heat from the air or from the ground and pushes it somewhere else. Into your living room, into your hot water tank. Back outside if you're trying to cool the place down. It sounds like magic. For every bit of electricity it uses, it moves three to five times that amount in heat. Not because it creates extra energy, but because it steals it from its surroundings. The principle is simple. The machine draws in air or liquid. A refrigerant circulates through its system, changing form as it absorbs and releases heat. A compressor boosts the pressure and temperature, and heat is delivered right where it's needed. Then the cycle repeats. It's not about making heat, it's about controlling it. That's why this machine seems like it's cheating the rules, but it's not. It just understands them better than we do. And now that the technology has matured, it's ready to replace the old ways, quietly, efficiently. Why your heater is stuck in the past. Look around your home. The heater in the corner or the basement may seem modern. Sleek metal, blinking lights, steady warmth. But inside, it's ancient thinking. It burns gas or oil or runs on raw electricity just to force out heat. Every unit of energy it eats gives you less in return. A trade-off we've accepted for generations. At best, a gas furnace gives you back 85% of what you put in. Some older systems barely hit 60%. You're paying to burn fuel just to heat the air. The rest escapes through vents, walls, and chimneys. Even electric resistance heaters, often seen as clean, are stuck at 100% efficiency. That sounds good until you realize heat pumps triple that performance without fire, fumes, or flames. The real cost isn't just money, it's the emissions. Heating systems are one of the biggest reasons homes remain fossil fuel dependent. In many countries, they account for nearly half of residential energy use. That's hundreds of millions of tons of carbon dioxide just to stay warm. The future isn't about burning smarter. It's about not burning at all. And for that, your old heater might not just be inefficient, it might be obsolete. Rewriting the rules of comfort. Comfort used to be simple. You turned a dial, the heat came on, or the cold air kicked in. You didn't ask how. You just trusted that something loud and hidden was working hard behind the scenes. But heat pumps have rewritten that entire process. Inside, they look like a cousin to an air conditioner. But they don't just cool, they flip direction. One machine for every season. In the winter, they pull warmth from the air outside, even when it feels freezing. They pressurize, cycle, and release it indoors. In summer, they do the reverse. Heat is yanked from your home and pushed back into the world. This flexibility comes from something small, a reversing valve. That little piece of hardware lets the system switch modes, turning one device into a year-round climate machine. They work with forced air, radiators, even underfloor systems. No need to rip out your entire home. Just plug in a smarter brain. The technology isn't loud. It doesn't rumble like a furnace. It whispers, constantly adjusting, maintaining balance. And because it isn't burning fuel or venting waste, it fits tighter spaces and cleaner builds. Once you live with a heat pump, you stop thinking about heat and cold as separate ideas. 
It becomes something else, something stable, quiet, seamless. This isn't just about saving energy. It's about changing the feeling of home. What happens when it's freezing? There's one question that always comes up. What about the cold? Can a heat pump really work when the outside world feels like ice? The answer is yes, with conditions. Modern heat pumps are far better than the early models. Today's systems can pull heat from air as cold as point 15 degrees, sometimes lower. But as the temperature drops, the effort increases. The pump works harder. The energy use rises. The efficiency dips. That doesn't mean it fails. It just needs backup. In cold regions, a secondary heat source is often added, a small electric coil. It only activates when the mercury crashes. Most days, it sits idle. But when snow hits the windows and the air bites through your coat, it steps in, quietly, automatically. There's also the frost problem. Ice can form on the outdoor coil. That's normal. The system pauses, reverses, and defrosts itself, then returns to work all without you lifting a finger. Some homeowners don't even notice these cycles. The inside stays warm, the transitions are smooth, and across the whole season, the savings still stack up. So yes, heat pumps can handle winter, not through brute force, but through smart adaptation. Going underground, geothermal secrets. Not all heat pumps breathe air, some dig deeper. Geothermal systems don't rely on shifting seasons or freezing winds. Instead, they tap into the Earth itself. Just a few feet below the surface, the ground holds a steady temperature year-round. It doesn't care if it's summer or winter above. That stable warmth becomes the perfect source, or sink, for heating and cooling. Pipes are buried in loops. Through them flows a special fluid. As it travels underground, it absorbs heat in winter or sheds it in summer. Then it cycles back into the home where the pump does its job, moving that heat to where it's needed. The result? Quiet efficiency, fewer swings in performance, less energy wasted. Yes, installation costs more. Digging trenches or drilling vertical holes takes time, space, and planning. But the payoff is long-term, lower bills, longer system life, fewer surprises. For homeowners chasing true sustainability, this is often the dream setup. Invisible once buried, whisper quiet when running. Geothermal isn't just another upgrade, it's a commitment to working with nature instead of against it. And once it's in the ground, it just keeps working, year after year, season after season, beyond the thermostat, showers, laundry, and more. Heat pumps aren't just for keeping rooms cozy, They've started showing up in other corners of the home, places most people never expected. Take your water heater. Traditional models heat water with electric coils or open flames. Every shower, every dish, every load of laundry drains power or gas. But there's a quieter, smarter way. Heat pump water heaters pull warmth from the surrounding air to heat the tank. They use less energy and often include a backup coil for colder days. In the right setting, like a garage or a utility room, they shine. They even help cool and dehumidify the space they're in. Then there's laundry. Newer dryers, especially in Europe, have gone ventless. No more blasting warm, damp air out of the house. Instead, a heat pump recycles it. The result? Lower temperatures, gentler drying, and much less energy use. Sure, they cost more up front, and yes, they take a bit longer to dry, but the savings add up. So does the durability. When you look at these systems together, heating, cooling, hot water, laundry, a pattern appears. The same quiet engine repurposed again and again, less waste, more control. That's the future hiding in plain sight. The money question. Every new technology hits the same wall, cost. Heat pumps aren't cheap. A basic air source system might run several thousand dollars. Geothermal can easily climb into five figures. 
Even hybrid water heaters and ventless dryers demand more than their traditional counterparts. But look closer. These systems don't just use less energy, they waste less of it. Over time, that means real savings, hundreds per year on heating and cooling, more on water and laundry. And when paired with solar, the bills drop even further, sometimes close to zero. Incentives help too. Tax credits, rebates, utility programs. Some governments are pushing hard to phase out old systems. That support can shave thousands off your install price. And then there's the quiet value. No fuel deliveries, fewer breakdowns, lower maintenance. So while the upfront cost is real, it's not the whole story. What matters is what you stop paying year after year. One switch that changes everything. Some places aren't waiting. They've made the switch. In parts of Europe and select US states, gas furnaces and old water heaters are being pushed out. New buildings must use electric heat pumps. It's not a suggestion, it's policy. Why? Because it works. The shift cuts emissions. It lowers demand for fossil fuels. And when the grid gets cleaner, so do the homes. A single rule can change thousands of buildings. A quiet revolution, one system at a time. This isn't about tech anymore. It's about direction. And the world is starting to point in the same direction. You won't hear it humming. You won't see it glow. But behind the walls, under the floors, and through the pipes, something is changing. Not louder, just smarter. The heat pump isn't a gadget. It's a shift, one that may quietly reshape the way we live forever.